Yeah, oh, here we are. So, today we're going to do some tissue culture. May as well start this off for fun science. This is our incubator. It's kept at 5% CO2 level to keep our cells nice and uh, well balanced and a temperature of 37. These are our flasks. These are T175s, 175 centimeters squared of volume, and, uh, or surface area, sorry. Um, I have two cell types. One is uh, non-adherent, so they're floating in here. The other one are attached to the bottom of this. They're adherent cells. And today I will just be splitting them, which is basically getting them into new flasks for me to use another day. And I will show you how that's done. This is our hood. It's a sterile environment. It's got UV inside and uh, positive pressure so that the uh, airflow in here stays in here. Um, now, in order for anything to go in the hood, it needs to be a little bit sterilized. In this case, we uh, ethanol spray it. That's, uh, that little bottle was what I used to get the cells off of the plate. It's called trypsin. This is my concoction of cell media. Uh, you can find this information online anywhere. The neck is probably the most important. That's where you open and close, so it should be the most sterile part of this. The rest, you can just quickly spray. Okay. Now one more for the hands. Make sure you're all good. So these are my new plates. They come in this plastic bags, five per plate, some uh, five per bag. Some of the other ones have more per bag, and then there's also other sizes, little tiny ones uh, for smaller cells or what we call primary cell lines, where uh, you can't—they don't grow as fast, so you don't need as much uh, volume for them. So first thing first, always a pain to open these. I take three of these because I'm going to expand into three new flasks. Again, we need to keep everything nice and sterile. Now they're open. Label them. These are breast cancer cell lines, MCF7s. So I do some of my research on this. Okay, first things first. Let me find all my... Uh, Yeah, make sure I have all my pipettes, everything ready. Okay. First things first, you take one of these autoclave, which is sterile pipette tips. Open up the vacuum and take the media off the top. Again, make sure you don't touch the outside or anything. The media is what I usually collect. In this case, for splitting, it's not really important. It just keeps your cells alive. Special dispenser for the blast by pets. Got that. Now I add this trypsin. Usually it's a lot warmer than this, but uh, when it's room temp, it's also fine. I take five mils of this. The volume will change depending on the size of the plate. In this case, five is usually pretty good. And I get it on. There's a better way of showing it. And I wash the top of my cells with it just to make sure that any extra protein is pulled off. This gets disposed in the biohazard, touched cells. And you wait for your cells to fall off. Usually, depends on the cells, but these are pretty big, so you can actually uh, see them. I don't know if you can see them with the video. Let's see if I can edit. I'm trying to do a reflection when you know when it's reflected properly. Can you see it or not? No. no. Unfortunately, the video doesn't show this to you. Um, you tap them once in a while, depending again on the cell lines. Some are hardier than others. These are all falling off already. While that's happening, I'm going to pre fill these flasks with 30 mils of media.
Now, you, you can't li leave your cells in this trypsin for very long or they will all die. Especially this trypsin, this is the uh, higher concentration uh, version, so things happen a little bit faster than usual. So pre-filling these with 30 mils of media. And if you're careful, you can re-dip, but again, if you touch anything outside of these, then you shouldn't. Up. Now, you have to add an equal volume of the trypsin that you added in here to, for quenching the reaction. So it basically uh, adds enough protein to this uh, concoction that it neutralizes the effect of the trypsin um, and, so, and its degradation properties, so it degrades proteins. And then at this point your cells are somewhat neutral. It's good to mix them in just to make sure you have a good population. In this case I will be adding a third in each. And And this can go in the biohazard, make sure it's closed. Then you close all of your flasks, now they're sterile. They have an air vent and a little filter to keep them sterile. You can now take them out of the hood. Make sure you mix the cells in here well so they're evenly distributed. Be a little bit more rough. Just make sure you don't get any media up in here. And that's it, then you put it back in the nice warm CO2 and let them grow for a few days. You can see there's a lot of other cells in here. Mine will just go here. Thanks for looking at our video on fun science.